Let's find out together on Tell It To Stand Ya. Hi there, Stanley Davis here from Tell It To Stand Ya. That's right, I am she and she is me. Yes, all right. So, hope everybody had a great week. I really trying to get this, and I trying to get this stream yard together so that I can, so that I can um be live on Facebook. But this look like this ain't this ain't Facebook in right now. I ain't quite sure, but anyhow. So today we have we have a very interesting topic, and um. This is, this is near and dear to me. This is a part of my life because I believe that my life is content. Now, it's content, but it's also content. So I figure instead of talking people business, I could kind of sort of talk my own. So today, the topic for today is, let me get this right because this is a long little, this is a long thing I got here going on. Hold on. I'm ready for y'all to date. Bam. All right. Transitioning into your next phase of life. A crazy woman's guide to leaving your good, decent job and living life on your terms. Now, during the time when I would have been missing, MIA, during the time when I was away off the air, last week I would have shared what happened with my mom. And I kind of went into a little detail about the things that kind of, you know, happened as a result. But of course, the hour got away from me. So I ended up getting a job. The first job that I had in almost 10 years, because for almost 10 years, I worked for myself full time as a life coach. Um, wait, hold on, because my man, I'm not a life coach. I am a life adjustment. Wait, hold on, I remember, I can't remember the last piece. I got to get this title to get it for it. But anyway, oh yes, life adjustment strategist. He said, that's what I am. That's what I do for my clients. So I ended up going back into the workplace after almost 10 years. And it was a really good experience, honestly. Um, a lot of good things came out of it. And I see why I had to go. So now I'm not here to talk no dirty story and all this stuff, because that's not the energy that I am moving in. And the purpose of this show is to help people who are ready to move forward. The purpose of this show is to help you to live the best life and to let you know that it is possible. I'm going to be, I'm probably going to mention my mentor several times and he's probably listening and I'm mentioning him because, you know, during this week he said, Stanya, the show last week was okay, but you still faking, you still ain't, you're not being Stanya and you da 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 So I get raw right out. So I said, okay. I see what I need to do here, bam. So I decided to take a page out of my book, my own book. So on Monday, big old thing, I decided to resign. Yes, I, resi I decided to resign from a very good job. And of course, and believe it or not, I haven't even told a lot of people, many people, but I mean, I'm on the air now, so I'm sure... I didn't tell my family because I was a little scared. A little scared. I still was a little scared of my daddy and my daughters. I was trying to block them, but anyhow, they know. I resigned. That's what I did. I did a thing. And I resigned effective immediately. Now, a big part of why I did it, and this is what I want to focus on. After mom passed, there's some things to learn. Life is short. We got one little trip around this here thing. I don't want to waste my time. And this goes for, now I'm talking about my joy. I'm talking about life in general now. I don't want to waste my time around negativity. I don't want to waste my time doing things that I don't want to do. I don't want to waste my time allowing people to write my script. That's one of the things that I like that. And by jolly, I have a right to not want to live like that. So I decided to do a thing. And that thing was to get up, write my little letter, and resign. 
And did I tell you the truth when I think about it? That's, well, this is the second time I did it, and I kind of did it a similar way when I worked at another place 10 years before I went on my own. So today's show is about you. How do you do this? Now, listen. This is not for everybody. This is not for the weak at heart. And notice I said this is a crazy, a crazy woman's guide to leaving your good, decent job and living life on your terms. This is not for you who like one, two, three, kick, structure, everything got to be in place. This ain't for you. This is for the, per this is not, this ain't even for the person who, you know, you, you know, all you want to do is worry and fret, Lord, what happened to that? No. Today, I am here for the crazy people just like me. I am here for the people who know that there's more to life than what they got going on. And if you've been thinking about going, changing, moving, whatever it is, and you're listening right now, this is your confirmation. This is your confirmation, man. Because in preparation for this show, believe it or not, I, I did some, you know, because I like people that, I mean, you know, it name tell it to Stanley, so you got to tell me a little business. Hi, hello. So I did some preparation, some research, and I was asking people randomly about if they were satisfied and fulfilled on their job. And let me tell you all, 90% of people said no. They said they were not happy. And when I asked, why don't you leave? Why don't you move? The biggest thing was that they had bills. They had financial obligations. And keep in mind now, I have financial obligations. That's, that's one of the reasons why I didn't tell my daughters, especially the one who's um, in college, because I know she could get a little scared. But they're staying on a job because, and that's a good reason now. Don't get me wrong now. I say you're crazy, not dumb. That's a good reason. And asking people, they also shared, and this was very interesting. When I asked them if they liked or they enjoyed the job that they actually did, most of them said yes. They love their job. They love the thing that they're doing. And that's just it, guys. You could like, you could be doing the right thing. The exact right thing. You could be living your life on purpose, I mean, just doing the thing. But you could be doing it in the wrong place. That's right. You could be doing the right thing, but in the wrong place. And by the way, you could join this conversation because I ain't got no guests in here. Child, I used to guess today. You could give me a call. You could text me. Well, yeah, let me read some of these texts. And I have some texts already. But you could text me at 4224796 if you you feeling me today, if you know what I what, what you know what I'm talking about. Four two two four seven nine six. That's the text line. Text me. But you could be doing the right thing, but in the wrong place. When I asked some of the people, I said, finish this sentence. When you think about your job, the place itself, the people you work with, whatever it is, what do you feel? I feel, and this is what a lot of them said. They said, I feel boxed in. Read it. They said, I do not feel valued. I feel like there's no room for growth. I feel like it's a toxic environment. Lord of mercy. Boy, the workplace is a serious thing around here. The, the workplace in the Bahamas. <laughs> the workplace in the Bahamas could be, boy, it could, you know what it could be like? Like you're in a narcissistic relationship with a narcissistic lover or your narcissistic parent. That's how I could feel because, boy, these responses, what I get, wasn't too good. But I am here to help you transition into your next phase of life. This the crazy woman's guide to leaving your good, decent job. So that you could live life on your terms. So here's a few things that I have experienced. So this your guy. This this you like it. Like I got seven points, but I must have got about 21. But you know, I only got one hour show. Hint, hint, the white station manager. Hello. First of all, when you want to leave your good, have faith and trust. 
Now, you know, we like to say we are a Christian nation. Don't mind, don't be, you don't be too Christ-like, but that's a, that's a conversation for another day because I say I won't talk about religion on this show. We say that we believe in God, yet we lack faith. We have to have faith. We have to know that we are taken care of. We have to know that everything is going to work out. And proof of this, let me give you all a little proof of this. All the drama and trauma that you have been through, I have been through. Every single thing, all of what we have all been through, guess what? We still here. We are still here. You got to have faith. You have to trust that life loves you. God loves you. Universe loves you. Whatever you want to call it. You have to have trust and faith. And no, listen, I know that I am a divine child of God. And you are too. You have to believe and know that every single thing, your needs are going to be provided. You have to have faith, man. You have to have faith in life, in God, whatever you want to call it. The other thing is you have to have faith and trust and belief in yourself. You have to believe you have to believe that you could do the thing that you actually want to do. You got to remember who you are. And sometimes, listen, all this is why I had to kind of, you know, do my own thing. Because I forgot to remember who Stania was and is. I started to forget. And Stania Davis. <laughs> Stania old Mika Davis. Is a bad shut your mouth. She's a sweet soul. But I make decisions for myself. I am a strong woman. I surely am. And I stand by that. Because I, I fought hard to be her. But the thing about it. Sometimes we lose ourselves. We lose ourselves sometimes. Because we give ourselves away. We give and give and we give our whole self away. We lose ourselves, too, because people start to tell us that there's something wrong with us. People start to tell us some things, and we start to remember, to not remember, to believe it. We start to think that, wait, hold on now. Well, you know, I, boy, I really disgusting, or I really be offensive to people. Now, yes, you could adjust the volume. But sometimes in trying to adjust this volume, because we don't want to be rude to people, we start to actually turn the volume off. And then we, be we become a shell of ourselves. We lose our self-esteem, our self-worth, our self-value. We think that we are wrong and that we are bad. When we are not. You have to know that you are good. You are good at what you do. I know I am good at what I do, Chad. Listen. One of the best. Tis, tis, Hello. And you are too. You got to believe the truth about who you are. When you're ready to leave, when you want to leave a good, decent job, when you're getting a little crazy, you have to believe and remember who you are. You are good at what you do. You have value. Now, let me tell you what else you got to do. This is what you got to do. There's another thing. This is the guide to the crazy woman's guide. This is a crazy woman's guide. You have to be, actu you actually have to be thankful. Now, on, which day this was now? That's Monday. I can't even remember, man. I am, oh, yes, well, I can't remember. Anyway, I think that was Monday. That was last. Yeah, that was this Monday. Monday, when I left, I, um, actually, I have, some new friends who, they, they were like, oh, Stanley, come out, come go out with us. And I really wasn't going. I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't on there, right? But they say, oh, we have something for you. And you know, child, listen, all you gotta do is tell Stanley, you got something for me, or come in. You see how, Lord, what is this? Anyhow, when I arrived, one of my friends had a journal for me. 
It says the simple abundance journal. And I ain't gonna lie, it's like, boy, this one little cheesy something she wrote from all the way in the East Drive, all the way out, Adelaide, for this, 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 the gift now. And I have another little gift which someone gave me, my beautiful cup. But I decided to write in this journal. And every single day since that day that I resigned, I wrote in the journal and I said, thank you. You have to be thankful for the job that you actually have. And that's why I'm not moving in no negativity. I'm not talking bad, but no job or no people or no job. I don't have time for that. I'm thankful God blessed me with that. When you are thankful, these are, and I know, you know, these, these are little, these laws and rules and living, these like spiritual laws. When you say, imagine if, if you do something for someone and someone tells you, thank you. And you don't want to do that some more. Well, that's how life has worked too. So every single day, every single thing, I said, thank you. I said, thank you for the job I had. I said, thank you for this. Every day I say, thank you for this journal. And let me tell you all this now. I had, I had a goal for how much money that I wanted to make this week. Don't mind, I had no plan now. Because I tell you, a little crazy. I own that. That's Tanya Brilliance. When I thought about it, I was like, oh my God, wait, hold on. I $50 short from my little target. And where I was so determined to make, to, to make this, I said, boy, Lord, I, I can go call my daddy and ask daddy for $50. Daddy, you know that. Although he, be, he, he jumps slick because he asked me to buy him food and thing, but anyhow. Then I got a call yesterday and the person said, hey, are you still doing those $50 sessions? I said, yes, ma'am. And that was the $50. As a matter of fact, I got more good news. You got to be thankful. Even where you are in the midst of wanting to leave where you are, you still say thank you. Thank you. And you still tell them people, thank you. You tell them thank you. All right. Oh, ain't nobody message me yet. Let me check this. Let me see something. I said the text line is 422-4796. Drop me a little message. Hi, hello. Anyway, here we go. The Crazy Woman's Guide. Here we go. You got to shut up your big mouth. You can't tell nobody what you're about to do. And that's exactly what I did. I did not tell anybody that I was getting ready to do this thing because I know, I knew, and I know they would have talked me out of it. I didn't even tell the co-workers. I didn't tell my colleagues. I didn't tell my staff. I didn't tell my siblings. I tell nobody. I said, if they're listening right now, if they're listening right now, believe it, this, this is the first time they're actually hearing it. You can't tell nobody because they can talk you out of it. And then, too, sometimes when you put things in the atmosphere, it just is go contrary. Then you got some little bad mind people. Listen, y'all like talk with Obey. Obey is the negative words that you say. And sometimes you don't need to, you just don't need to be around nobody who negative. Because they, so you got to shut up your big mouth and work in silence. You got to just do what you say you're going to go do. Don't, don't tell nobody nothing. Okay? All right. Keep it to yourself. You feel like a bad man, keep it to yourself. Now, there's no looking back when you're on this crazy road. Now, ain't no looking back. There's no looking back. The only time you have to, you, have, you could look back is because you have to look at the lessons that you learned at the place where you were. Now, I know pastor now. I know none of them type of things. But let me tell you this thing. God, life, universe, well, my daughter would say Mother Nature. Mother Nature, whoever, prepares you for your journey. So in preparation for your journey, that place where you were at or where you are right now, if you ain't live yet, there's some lessons that you needed to learn there. Now, in my new full-time position working for myself all over again, I work with persons or organizations 
and businesses with their employees who have behavior issues. So, I, I, I gotta kill you all with that at the end of the show. Because I ain't got no full time job over there no more. Hello. All right. But I work with organizations. So, they send their, um, you know, persons who may have behavior issues and stuff like that to me. Even though I did that before. I needed to be in an environment where I would know how it felt to have colleagues, to not feel good, to be upset, to feel all these things. I needed to know that. And so I got a chance to experience that. Wherever you are, I want you to look around. God is preparing you. God is preparing you because of the work that you have to do. So now you have to have more structure. You're going to learn more. God is also preparing you, or you looking back, you're learning the lessons, lessons, because in that current position, there's some character traits that needed to be nurtured, that needed to be, that needed to come to light. This is the only reason that you're looking back now. You also had to be in this position because you had, once again, remember who you are. Certain skills come to light. Now, I always knew that I was a creative person, but now I realized, boy, I really could problem solve or when it's crunch time, boy, I really could get this thing together now. You have to take a look at those lessons. The job that you have, it has been a gift. The job that you have has been a gift. Out what that gift is, what are the lessons, what did you have to learn? Because if you don't learn it, yeah, it will be right there. Now, we got two more, and then we're going to take a quick commercial break. I see you send me, send me no message, but you could call me too. Let me give you a little call numbers, because when we come back from the break, not yet now, Brittany. <laughs> I just want to see if you was listening. All right, then. All right. The numbers, the call in lines, 323-6232. I say call yet now. 323-6232. Three two, three two five four three one six, three two five four three one six, three two five four two five nine. That's three two five four two five nine. I'm gonna say them all again. Three two three six two three two, three two five four three one nine. Oh, sorry, three two five four three one six. And three two five four two five nine because I want to hear from you. I want to know who ready to live, who ready to live their life according to their own rules. Now the thing is, you also got to stay focused. You got to stay focused on what it is that you have to do, and that's 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 back to point number four when I talk about shut your mouth and be in silence. Stay focused. Things are gonna get better. Things are gonna come together. So I'll tell you this. This is what my first week on my own looked like. Every morning, I say a prayer. Okay, I see someone messaging me right now. Wait, wait. Okay. Okay, let me read this. How do you move forward working for yourself in an area that you feel is already saturated? Okay, I got you, boo-boo. All right, listen. You are... The secret ingredient. You have your own unique recipe. You have to come from a totally different angle. You have to be you. There's something special about you. Stop trying to fit in. If it's saturated, who cares? You offer something different. Either you got to offer something if it's food industry. You got to order, um, offer one different type of bread what nobody offer. One different type of service. Your customer service got to be on point. Your product have to be a little different. You have to cater to a specific demographic of people. You are the secret ingredient. Listen, every all of who we are serves a purpose. We were not made just made now. We were created. And when you create something, you got the right ingredients. Coming into this whole field as a life coach, I remember this. Like, man, you know, buddy, can go, but you say I need to go do this. Da, da. And I say, boy, look how I get to carve out my own way. You have to do it different. You do it different. You have to come from a different angle. When I go in and I do uh, my, my sessions or my trainings, I ain't coming with no big bunch of 
Hey, but for the most part, no, and you know why? Because I had to connect with the people. I had to connect. You are your own secret ingredient. If you're working for yourself, you try and figure out what er what everybody doing, yes, and how you could do it differently. There is something. There's something in you. If you know that this is what you have been created to do, mandated to do, if you know that this is you, then that's the first step. Find maybe a different demographic of people. And you have to think too, like who comes to you? Where, how do you make the most money? What comes easy? Because sometimes too, you know, we might like to do this one thing. Let's say, let's say it's food. Uh, people might, you might say, boy, I really like to do guava duff. But it, even though you, even though, man, you guava duff may taste good. But people really is come there for the curry chicken. Then you got to focus on the curry chicken or, um, or listen, or, or sell curry straight through. But you have to do something different. Already saturated, you... If you have clients, your relationship, you could build relationships with your clients and customers. For the most part, boy, for the exception, I think of one, okay, two people. <laughs> I have a close relationship with all of my clients. Even if you mess, listen, if you message me on Facebook, TikTok, if you even share my video, I, you'll see me right there. Thank you. Because I'm building relationships. So you got to do a different, darling. Secret ingredient. If you know you're supposed to do this thing, let's go. Come on. Life is waiting. And you know why you got to come do this thing? You got to do this thing because I think I said this last week, but I keep saying, your people are there waiting for you. If you don't show up, then we got a bunch of fakey people out there doing one big bunch of foolishness. And Bahamian people done don't know how to determine and decipher what good and authentic from what bad and trashy. We, we done little loss. That's, that's another show. I just saying. Okay, now. Where, where, where? Oh, I got another text message. See, I know. You see that? Thank you. I am thankful. I am very thankful for this. Here we go. Good day, Stanley. This show is so timely. I would like to. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. I see what you're saying. Okay. I can message you. I'm, feel, I'm feeling you, and I am caught up in the same situation, but because I have bills, I won't leave my job. Boy, listen, I understand. You hear me tell you, I couldn't tell my daughter. One day when I was complaining, saying, boy, I'm thinking of my go, my daughter looked dead scared. <laughs> <laughs> I got a block right now, so she so she didn't know I on this show talking, but it's better know my older daughter. I know she done, she done on to me. But you got to, okay, if you don't want to leave, if you don't want to leave, because... This is I, I, I'm a wild child. And that's another thing I had to remember. I had to remember, I do my own thing and ain't nobody is put baby in the corner. I done tall. I six foot, uh, I six foot 13. Ain't nobody is put me in no corner. No. I gotta do my own thing. So you can't be crazy like me. You have bills. What you can do is start small. You ain't got to start big. Start small. Start doing it. See, and that's my other point. This is the crazy woman's guide. You got you to gotta get crazy and start working. You have to do the work. And I remember watching this thing. I can read you one page out of my diary in a minute. Where this man was saying, he said, if your full-time job got you exhausted, tired, you robbing you all your happiness, you ain't got time to do the things that you like to do, then you need to reevaluate where you work in. And that's another thing. There's some form of sacrifice when you want to leave. There's a sacrifice. There's a sacrifice, and you got to work hard. This week, let me tell you, all, this week was crazy, man. I went out to I went out to lunch, but it was a blessed week. I went out to lunch on Tuesday. A friend said, "Oh, I got one project coming up, Stanley. I, I might need your help on a part-time basis." I said, "That's good, cause I ain't trying to work for nobody." So that's good. Bam. Then when I listen again. Um, someone called and they say, I had, well, I had a half day workshop that I had to do on Friday. And I'll tell you this. So you're so blessed. I'm thankful. After doing the session, man, and you know, they don't tell me I must come back on Monday. Bam. Hi. Hello, somebody. Then when I listen again, somebody call and say, Stanley, I have one event. Um, you can't come host the event on Saturday. I says, one shall I zoom in straight there. Bam. I'll be there. 
Then out the blue, a friend said, Man, Stanley, you can't host this rehearsal dinner tonight, eh? I said, Yeah, man, dead tired. Tired, you done no tired body yells out of season. Hello. But I was there. You gotta work hard. How hungry and how bad you want this thing? How hungry and how bad do you want to work for yourself? Because that's the real work. As a matter of fact, it's easy to be on people's job, you know. It's dead easy to do that. Well, kind of, sort of. Outside of feeling bad about yourself. But when you're talking about you have to go, there's a sacrifice that you have to make. And you have to decide, are you crazy enough to do it? And that's where faith is coming to. Because if you don't do it, then this is your life. The rest of your life. When will be a good time for you to start this? Hello, sir? Sir or madam who texts me? When will be a good time for you to start? It's never a good time. And guess what? This is how I know life is a very interesting thing. During the pandemic, people start businesses during the pandemic. Get up off your hip. And you know I want to say hip, but I know the white will do me it. <laughs> Get up off your hip and go and do what you were supposed to do. That to do. I am here to tell you that it is simply possible. I am just a messenger today. I am your sign. You, you know you all always want a sign. I am your sign. You could do it. I did it. I am doing it. Is it easy? Mm -mm, they don't always be easy. But I mean, is easy always good? Now, get up off your hip and start. You could start small. Like I say, you all might not be crazy like me. Start small. Do a little something. Put it together. Sit your hip down. Be in silence. And think, how can you achieve this? And ask for divine help. Ask for divine help. When you get up in the morning, do what I do. Say the prayer. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. Thank you, whoever out there. Thank you for the opportunities that you present my way. Thank you. Actually, I say thank you for the unexpected opportunities. You all hear how much, how much unexpected opportunities I had this week? You all didn't hear that piece. You all wasn't listening. Eh? And guess what? Let me tell you all. During the pandemic, when I worked for myself, I had given up my, um, well, eventually I had given up my office. Well, one of my good, decent friends who got a nice, decent office in a nice, decent area, she says, Stanley, I have, I have a new office. So I said, well, let me come see how your office look. You know, I done plotting. <laughs> so when I reached there, and she giving me the tour, and I just looking at this, this office space, right? And you know, I done trying to figure out how you fix my mother. Tell her I, I can need this office, man. So she say, I say, well, um, you you opened the rent in this office. And, like, and you know, I, I ain't got too much. I ain't working right now. But hold on, I got plenty of money. I, yeah, you guys watch what you say. Hello. Sorry. I got plenty of money. Bam. I said, well, you know, I'm working um, over there, working for myself, so, you know, I got a budget a little bit. She said, you know, you was going to ask me that. So, anytime you're ready, you could use this office. That's what she told me. And then I put it to the test. Because come Monday, when I did put the letter in, when I left there, I didn't need to do some work. I went straight there, and she, she wasn't there. And she said, listen, tell, I could call the receptionist, and I tell you, you could come there whenever you want to do it. There's some sacrifice that must be made. It's your job to show up. Life will do the rest. We'll take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back.
Are you looking for a fresh experience? Look no further than Fresh Market. Our store is stocked with the freshest produce, meats, and dairy, all sourced locally and internationally for the best quality. With our commitment to freshness and our friendly associates, your shopping experience is sure to be a breeze. Come visit Fresh Market today and taste the difference freshness can make. This November is 180 years. And we want to thank you, our loyal readers, for helping to make this one of the oldest newspapers in the region. We want you to be a part of our Vision Challenge giveaway promotion beginning October 28th through November 22nd. All you need to do is find the hidden Nassau Guardian 180 Years logo printed every day in the Nassau Guardian newspaper, and you could win prize money. Just purchase your daily Nassau Guardian newspaper every day beginning Monday, October 28th. Find the 180th Nassau Guardian logo, Cut out the page, mark the spot, write your name and phone number on that clipping, drop off your entries at our offices on Carter Street in Oaksfield, and every Friday, November 1st, November 8th, November 15th, and November 22nd, one drawing will take place. It's that simple. Now, sir, are you ready for November 2nd? Because we are ready! Hi, this is KB, and I will be performing live. Break and scrape explosion. Reloading. This is the one and only fan, John, letting you all know that yours truly will be performing. Oh, yeah, this is your boy, D-Mark, and I'll be performing live. Keep the vibe alive, music group, and top for sales promotion. Invites you to the biggest break and scrape concert of the year. <laughs> and you thought they was going to leave me out? Um, Hey! It's me, Mama D. This is Wilfred Solomon. Yo, it's your boy, Ron. It's your boy, Elliot, from the New Breed Band. The biggest artist of the 242. It's your boy, Shine 242. Hey, it's Sherrod Taylor. It's your boy, Johnny K. The Falcon Showdown. It's your buddy, Jerry. It's me now, Funky D. This is your girl, Nishi Out Ass, a.k.a. Miss Loose Me. Hey there, this is Freak on B. Hey, this is Gino D, and I will be performing live. Hey, it's me, Julian Belize. Tickets available at the Beauty Shack and Bahamas Heat Tickets. The countdown is on. Ray can't scrape explosion. Best of the best. Nassau Cruise Port is bringing you spooky fun. Thursday, October 31st from 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. In your cool at a portcalypse. Grab your best costume for a night of music and karaoke with Ruma the Entertainer. Then turn up with Pusha Jr., DJ One Time, and more at the after party. $10 gets you in on the scary action with contests and surprises all night long. A portcalypse. It's going to be scary good. This is Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Yeah, I used to crack the joke. I'd rather go flip chicken and satisfy people and see a smile on their face. And continue to what I'm doing and not feel fulfilled. So for me, it was all about feeling fulfilled, feeling my joy from the persons that I helped, and I did not feel it <clears throat> anymore. So I was just seeking that level of internal fulfillment from the work that I do or the job that I was willing to do. All right. Okay. So we're back, and um, that voice note. Um, the person was saying they rather sell chicken. If it was a, if it was something that was gonna bring a smile to someone's face, that they was gonna flip chicken to do that just so that they could be happy. And you can give us a call. You could, you could give us a call or give me a call three two three six two three two. That's three two three six two three two, or three two five four three one six three two five four three one six. I'd love to hear from you. And of course, I am thankful. That's right, thankful that. You are, um, that you're messaging me. So, let me read a little page out of my book now. La ta ta ta, where am I? Hello. Do, do, do. Oh, here we go. Bam. August 21st, 2024. Okay. I am not sure if I am having a breakdown or not. Perhaps I am. I am always contemplating the meaning of life, my life in particular. I am plotting my escape from the plantation called my job. A part of me knows that I must finish and complete the task of implementing a few things, but I want to escape. I miss the freedom of being free. Life must be more than this. Life Smart says, 
I'm sorry, Ralph Smart says, it is possible. I know it is possible. The possibility includes putting myself first and minding my own business. Sidebar. Listen, this is the guy. You got to mind your own business. Shut up your big mouth. Get out of other people's business. Stop focusing on trying to help other people and go help yourself. You're all about helping people give birth to business, by the way. But if you are not giving birth to your own dreams, shut up your mouth. Focus on yourself. Mind your own business. Stay focused. Let me finish reading my page in my journal. I told you all I was crazy already. Bam. Here we go. To the human eye, it is an act of selfishness. To the soul, it is selfish. Yes, selfish. The act of being who you are at the core. Allowing spirit to lead the way. Listening to the voice within. I am taunted with glimpses of freedom. I am on an island. No, not this island, silly. Another island. Basking in the sun, teaching, healing, revealing its beauty. Can I do it? Yes, I can. But it will take focusing on me. It will take me being selfish. Perhaps selfishness leads us to freedom. Perhaps the slave mentality involves doing what is expected and asked by others. Let me say this piece again. Perhaps selfishness leads us to freedom. Perhaps the slave mentality involves doing what is expected and asked by others. I want to be free. I want to be selfish. I want to simply be me. That's what I wrote August 21st, 2024. Woo! Well, well rise to God, I just catch myself. That's August 21st and October 21st is when I said sayonara, August is done. Two months later. And that's another thing. You'll have some little signs, you know. You'll you know, you will know that it's time to go because it'll be some little signs. You could be starting to feel some little stuff. And not only will those signs just be those feelings or whatever. Again, as when my mom passed during her illness, it took my voice away. Sanya went silent. I couldn't talk. I couldn't coach. I couldn't do nothing. Then I started work, but I wasn't coaching. Then I started, and then I'll tell you this, I didn't even advertise. All of a sudden, maybe about a month or so ago, around the same August 21st now that I think about it, was when people started to seek me out, and they called for me. They sent for me. And I was like, what? Well, where these clients come from? And I didn't even advertise. I didn't even do nothing. But I was already doing the work. And I was also live saying, excuse me, hi, hello, stand here. Let's go. There's some clues. I'm the only one who could do this. Hey, hold on, I see my younger daughter message me and nobody message me. Daughter. Hey, hold on. <laughs> hi. Ta hi. Let me see what she says. She answer. Oh, okay, just say hello, mother. Okay, cool. There are signs. And the other thing that I want to tell you about. I kind of touched on this just a teeny little bit. The ready callers, I, I mean, y'all didn't message, and I like to message. I'll call and give you five cents. Y'all do that. Although I see one or two persons message and said that they don't want to call because they are, they are actually enjoying what I'm saying. Okay. So, this is the other thing. This is the guide. You can't stay stuck in victimhood. You can't focus on all the reasons why you can't move forward. You can't. Listen, I could say my mommy died. And you know when you make me mad, I don't care. This, this, this is the one thing I always say when you make me mad. Child, my mom, go on, child. I ain't going to do this. Blah, blah, blah. But you can't stay stuck on this happen. You ain't this. Blah, blah, blah. Because if you, what I just say? If you feel like the victim, you write back to other people running your life. You will never do nothing. We all, listen, life, life in for everybody. Life is life in for every D. But it's about conquering. It's about you moving forward. It's about you being in control, you being able to write your own script. I remember the first time I left my good government job, the first, the first good, decent one. And I remember... 
um, reading in this book, and it said it was three set of women. One set said one. It said one set of women. They wake up every single day. They go to a job or they hate. Wild horses got to drag them out of bed. They da 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 da. They tired when they get warm. Tired body yells out of season. Bam. The second set say, oh, woman, they stay home and they home. Make us some happy, some happy, blah, 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 blah. Then it was the third set and the third set of women said, it said, these women get up every day and they're focused. They know what must be done and sometimes they don't, but they are enjoying their day. They are writing their script. And I say, I want to be part of that group. That's the group I want to be a part of. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let me read some of these messages I got here. Okay, I see someone say, I needed to hear these things again. Okay, all right. Oh, then someone say, you know, I was talking about you're selling the duff, and then, you know, you might be good at the duff, but then the people like the curry, so the person say, sell the curry and the duff combo. See, but what? Listen, that's another different do something different. Do something different. You talking about saturated? Okay. Now remember now, I am oh years old. I remember way back when I was a little girl. There was Johnson's. I think it was Johnson's. Say Johnson's chicken. Um, chicken shack. I didn't know how to mess it up. And they had, they had that on. They had that on lock. Now, if somebody did come and say, well, why are you going to go open up on Chicken Shack? And you know Johnson's got that on lock. But entered Bamboo Shack. Bamboo Shack got, they got, they, they add their little garlic to the chicken. They, the, the people who wait, they got their little in, um, uniform. They got their little soft bread, whatever it is. And they did it differently. And even though Bamboo Shack got it on lock, if someone did say, um, well, I can't go do one chicken shack. You say, well, why you want to go and go do that? And you know, bamboo shack got this and blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. And then Sammy's chicken. Come on. Kentucky and Popeye's on one road, but they still different. You are the secret ingredient and you could do this. Stop trying to be like everyone else. Do not fit in. And I know that's hard for in a world what forces us to be just alike and forces us to turn it down. But you got to turn it up. It is a different that will allow you to stand out. It is the gift that God gave you. The crazy woman's guide, I listened to the divine voice. Not the crazy, Lord, I remember when it was, this is sidebar, I remember when it was, Dating the pastor when I thought I was going to marry the pastor. That's the story for another day. But when I used to say the spirit, he said, standing with spirit, this is you talking about. The holy one. The good one. I so trying to be in tune with myself and God and the divine and everything. Listen, I just follow and even when it look crazy and sound crazy, I can go do it. And you know why I can go do it? Because that's the way blessings is flow. If we understand, if we try to figure out how things are supposed to be, we ain't going to never see them because we're not supposed to. Let your soul lead the way. You know what must be done. So this is why I'm here today. My mentor, one of them, Fred Donathan, I'm sure I'm going to bring this up on the show, told me I must stop faking. And there I was, thought I was being so authentic last week. But anyhow, stop faking and be transparent. Take the mask off, stand in, please be you. So this is me. The crazy woman's guide to leaving your good, decent job and living life on your own terms. So let me tell you, because I only got five minutes left. Lord, my daughter calling me. Y'all sure? I, I feeling like somebody done report me to my daughter. Why is my daughter calling me? I'm scared now. But anyhow, as you now know, Stanya is working full time here on her own at Eve's Journey Life Coaching Institute. And I have discounted sessions for the month of November. I would invite you to contact me 
You can find me on Facebook and TikTok. You can, if y'all want to find me, y'all, y'all know how y'all could stalk people and things. Y'all, y'all know how to find me. I ain't giving out my number out here because y'all, I don't want nobody calling me talking about they want to get with me. I ain't into that. Thanks. Okay. But at Eve's Journey, this, this is what we're offering. And this is what I'm offering. Session so you could get yourself together. And I'll tell you this now. I don't mean the brass. <laughs> I'll do it doing it. Hey. But everybody who I work with, something magical happens to them. Who ain't been through the relationship when I look, they, they, they getting married. I mean, I have so much of clients who, who get married. They always come back and tell me, listen, where am I? Where am I? Anyway, let me stay focused. This is for y'all right now. Who don't get married? They start a new job or they start their own business. They do the things that they've been afraid to do. They do the things that they need to do. And you see, just how I acting right now, that's me as a life coach. I ain't got no time to play. And I give you support. And you don't pay me to tell me or tell you what you want, me, want here. I tell you what I see and how it's supposed to be. So you could find me. Find me on Facebook and inbox me. And of course, I also work with persons or companies and businesses where we do training, where we work with persons who have behavioral issues and teams who don't get along, and also managers who may need managing. This is why we're here, man. I got two more minutes left, hey, Brittany. So that's what we're dealing with. It's been a good show. I know I enjoy myself. I'm even checking for you all. Because Stanya being authentically Stanya. Good luck. Get yourself together. And I'll see you next week. Peace out. Let's find out together on Tell It To Stand Yeah.